Ah, the horror genre. A classic that spans back into video gaming's adolescence, starting from games like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Halloween on the Atari to now more modern games like Silent Hill and Amnesia. It's a genre that, for the most part, few games have truly mastered, and it's skewed by cheap cop-ins and failed attempts. Well, much like the uh, horror movie industry. <laughs> One of the best horror games ever made was Silent Hill 2, proving that atmosphere was the way to go to get your real, true horror, and that while jump scares do startle, it was the anxiety that really took hold to drive us into the game's world. Now, in recent years, horror games have tried to evolve a few times, and it's had a rocky go. Some successes are games like Bloodborne, a horror game at heart but with a load of other genres thrown in, and while scary, that isn't the focal point. Or games like We Happy Few, a more psychological horror game playing on our fear of a controlling dystopia. But there are some failures, and in fact the failure that we're talking about today is survival horror. Now, don't get me wrong, survival horror has had successes like DayZ, H1Z1, and Seven Days to Die, but I'm looking at the shitty underbelly of this subgenre today. An indie game called Red Lake. Red Lake is a horror game in the same vein as Dark Souls being easy. It fucking isn't. Like, really, I watched the trailer for this game before I even bought it and just... Like, goddamn. Okay, so it's in Russian. Looks pretty. The wind's fucked up, though. Like, look at that. Oh, okay. Is the car going? I can't understand anything he's saying. He's speaking Russian. The car is going kind of slow. Why does the wind look like it's not actually doing what it should be? Like, the grass is moving in a different direction, almost? The fucking lens flare, though. Uh, that's really bad lens flare. That's like dirty. Okay. Okay, you can stop with the... There, okay, alright. What now? Oh, oh. Getting into the exception music here. Oh, it's spooky wind. Uh-huh. This looks like Seven Days to Die. Like, a lot. Like, a lot like Seven Days to Die. Oh! Oh. He had a bad day. <laughs> what was that?! Wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on. Look at those, look at those bricks. How did they blow up like that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you serious?! What was that?! Head. That head. <laughs> what is going on? Mmm, <laughs> best font. Best font. Ten out of ten. Wow. Oh, there it goes. Uh, we appear to have some. Uh, well, we have uh, some roller coaster tycoon going on right here. We are going. That noise. Oh my god. That's a big explosion for a small airplane. 10 out of 10. Now, hilarity aside, this game is really bad. It starts off with a car driving into some, I guess, national park? And the whole story is that the park ranger is missing and you've got to find him. And while finding him, everything kind of just goes to hell. Good concept, really bad execution. I mean, like, first of all, the music drowns out the dialogue of his explanation. Like, come on, you couldn't have turned the music down a bit? I should go to this red lake and find what's going on. It just seems like another easy job. Like stealing candy from a baby's hand. Hell, I can't even do that. There's no options while in the game. Like, are you serious? Like, literally nothing. No basic options for graphics, sound, controller rebind. Nothing. At. All. And the controls are awful. The most acceleration is absolutely off the charts. And no matter what resolution settings I put in, the most constantly moves off screen. So if I click it, it closes out the game. So some options would be lovely in game. Seriously, please. All right, fine. So you leave your car and start walking into the forest. And just a few feet in, we get why this game sucks as a horror game.
Yeah, that was the silhouette of a large house cat, and my character is literally having a heart attack. It just comes out of nowhere, but it, it didn't even make me jump, actually. It looks so stupid that I couldn't react in a timely manner other than wondering what the fuck just happened. And this continues. You go up a hill, see a bridge, and the middle of the bridge is some dude, a zombie, something, I don't know. Uh, when you get close enough, he just teleports in front of you and then vanishes in what I assume is black smoke, but it could be anything, honestly. This happens a lot. Random jump scares. And it never works. It's never scary, and except for one time, it never startled me. It's either too stupid, or just too predictable. And that's where this game fails. It's. Not. Scary. The next part, for some fucking reason, involves sneaking past these electric balls. And at first I was like, alright, I see the end here, it's not too bad. But no. That's just a dead end. You have to go through this field, and I shit you not, because you have to sneak this. It takes, god damn it, 15 fucking minutes. 15 minutes to sneak through a field with electric balls, nothing else happens. Nothing else happens. And then I'm almost there, and I'm almost there, I'm so close to the end, and fuck. Are you fucking serious? Like, just no, I'm not doing that again. It, 15 minutes! I'm not doing it again. Like, I died, that's it. Screw it. This game in the first half an hour has done nothing good. Nothing redeemable to make me want or care to continue. It has shit controls that you can't change or alter at all, awful attempts at jump scares that are just not scary, and a sneaking mission that takes too long to complete and just screws you in the end anyway. Why the hell should I bother continuing? This stains this genre. This makes games like DayZ and Seven Days to Die look like shit smears, and I kind of enjoy Seven Days to Die, so that hurts me some. Do not bother with this game, it is not worth your time, and from the reviews I probably should have guessed that. The only positive thing I can muster is that at the very least, by the time I finished recording for this review, I was able to recoup the money I spent by selling Steam's crappy trading cards. Yippee. The horror genre has some really great games in it. This isn't one of them. If you really want to play a game in this genre, go pick up something like Silent Hill 2. Uh, Outlast is apparently fairly scary, I've heard. Uh, hell, even Five Nights at Freddy's at least has some sort of cult following. The atmosphere is generally okay in those games. It's, it's better than this, that's for fucking sure, and the jump scares actually startle you. This game is just not good. If you want to play something survival horror that has this kind of aspect-y kind of thing to it, then go play something like Seven Days to Die. Trust me, it's, it's way, way better than this. Just don't even give this game the time of day like I'm actually doing. It's, it's really not worth it. It just isn't. I'm done talking about it. I'm gonna go and drink myself to sleep or something. Ah, <sighs> God, this game sucks. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all, hopefully, next time. Peace.